Hello everyone. Today I am here with the story The Hare and the Porcupine. So let's get started. Once upon a time, an old porcupine lived in a large wood with his twin sons. Apples were their favorite dish, but they also loved turnip once in a while. One day, one of the young porcupines set off as usual to fetch the turnips. Like all porcupines, he was a slow walker, and he had just reached a large cabbage when. From behind the leaves, out popped a hare. So, you have arrived at last. said the hare i have been watching you for half an hour do you always walk slowly i hope you are quicker at eating or it will take you a year to finish the turnip instead of getting angry at being teased the porcupine decided to teach the rude hare a lesson slow on his feet but a quicker thinker He rapidly hit on a plan. I can run faster than you if I try he said. Ha 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 the hare shrieked with laughter raising a large paw. You can't compete with me. My granddad was the fastest hare of his day. He even won a gold penny. He used to be my coach. And you tell me you can run faster than me? Bell I bet my granddad's gold penny. that i can win without even trying the porcupine paid little heed to the hare's boastful words and quickly accepted the challenge i'll meet you tomorrow down at the plowed field we will race in the parallel furrow better stay here all night you will never get home and be back in time for the race the hare told the porcupine as he was laughing The porcupine however had a bright idea when he arrived home he told his twin brother what had happened just before dawn next day he gave his instructions and they set off for the field the hare appeared and remarked rudely i will take off my jacket so i can run faster ready steady go and in a flash the hare streaked to the other end of the field there is waiting for him was the porcupine who teasingly said rather late aren't you i have been waiting here for ages gasping and breathless the hare whispered let's try again all right agreed porcupine we will run the race again what late again I keep on getting here first. Never in all his life had the hare run so fast. But every time he reached the other end of the plowed field, what did he find? But the porcupine who laughingly exclaimed, "Perhaps I ought to mention friend hare that my granddad was the fastest porcupine of his day he did not win a pig old penny but he won apples and after the race he ate them but i don't want apples i would rather have a nice gold penny you promise me said one of the porcupine twins the hare slid to the ground dead tired his head was spinning and his legs felt like rubber 
this race is the end of me i shall die here in this field i really believed i was a spinter what a disgrace the hare staggered home hot and sticky to fetch the gold penny that he had never for a moment ever imagined that he would lose his eyes brimming with tears he handed it over to the porcupine thanks goodness my granddad isn't alive to see this he said whatever he would say after all his coaching here i am beaten by a porcupine that evening a party was held at the porcupine's house the twins danced in turn waving a lot the gold penny father porcupine brought out his old accordion for the special occasion and the fun went on all night Moral of the story is we should never make fun of anybody. Thank you. Keep learning and enjoying.